Hello everybody and welcome back. Today our topic is going to be about the conduction velocity of the myocardium. The conduction velocity reflects the time required for excitation to spread from the sinoatrial node, which is the pacemaker cell of the heart, to the entire cardiac tissue. For the conduction velocity there are different velocities from fastest to slowest. The slowest is going to be the atrioventricular node and it has an important reason of ventricular filling and the fastest which is the Purkinje system. We're going to say every structure and the conduction velocity speed. So for the first one which is the sinoatrial node and the atrioventricular nodes they have a conduction velocity of about 0.02 to 0.1 millisecond. For the second one, which is the internodal and interatrial pathways, the conduction velocity is about 1 millisecond. The third one, which are the atrium and ventricle muscles, the conduction velocity they have is about 0.3 to 0.5 milliseconds. And finally, with the fastest conduction velocity, the Purkinje fibers have a conduction velocity of 1.5 to 4 milliseconds. The Purkinje fibers have the highest velocity due to having long fibers. These fibers are distributed in about one third of the ventricular volume. They contain gap junctions and they also have direct connection with myocytes. For they also have fast sodium currents which cause a regenerative spread of conduct, conducted action potential which causes a rapid conduction of the cardiac impulse. The spreading of excitation from the sinoatrial node to the entire cardiac tissue can be chronotropic effect or also dromotropic effect. The chronotropic is on the firing rate of the sinoatrial node. It can be either positive or it can also be negative. But for the dromotropic effect, it has a conduction velocity, especially in the atrioventricular node. And it can also be either positive or negative. Okay, now we're going to discuss the autonomic effects on automatism in, and the conduction velocity. So it can be either parasympathetic stimulation or it can be sympath sympathetic innervation. For the parasympathetic, it's mainly caused by the vagal innervation, by the vagus nerve, the 10th cranial nerve. It is made by the acetylcholine, the muscarinic receptor of the acetylcholine, of course, because it's related to the heart. These receptors are on the sinoatrial node, on the atria, and also on the atrioventricular node. So it's going to have a negative, for the parasympathetic, it's a negative effect. So it's going to be negative chronotropic and negative dromotropic effects. For the negative chronotropic effect, it causes a decrease and a delay in the slow depolarization. It also causes a decrease in the heart rate, which can lead to sinus brachycardia. For the negative dromotropic effect, it causes a decrease in the inward calcium current. It also causes a decrease in the conduction velocity through the atrioventricular node. Action potentials are conducted more slowly from the atriums to the ventricles also. And now for the sympathetic innervation. The sympathetic innervation is due to the norepinephrine mediated and also epinephrine from the adrenal medulla. It's made by the beta-1 receptors and it also has a positive chronotropic effect and a positive dromotropic effect. So for the parasympathetic it's a negative, for the sympathetic it's a positive. For the positive chronotropic effect it causes an increase in the heart rate which is the sinus tachycardia and for the positive dromotropic effect, it causes an increase in the inward calcium current, increase in the, in the conduction velocity through the atrioventricular node, and also causes ventricular filling with higher rates. For the modulation of the heart rate by the autonomic nervous system, 
We're going to see a graph right now which shows the difference between the sympathetic stimulation and the and the sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation of the conduction velocity. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.